First and foremost, it's always fun to be at home and uh, be in front of the home crowd. And then for this week, of course, you know, it's good to have a bunch of different teams that we haven't seen this year, uh, bring some fresh competition in and, and be able to give our athletes a chance to see some new people so they can uh, challenge themselves in different ways. Well, it, it's just, it's good to get our, our heptathletes, our pentathlete group there going because it's just, you know, they go all year where they can only get a few meets in and for them to get some good uh, competition and figure out where they're at. And it's always fun to do those type of events right in the middle of the uh, uh, the other events as well because you know you have a nice crowd and a good atmosphere and everything so usually you do a pretty good job here. The great thing about being at home is when you're familiar with the facility and uh, two you're you want to do well in front of your friends and fans you start getting that you know that, that just ups the competitive environment and uh, you know you know just like any other sport the home field advantage is a big deal and it's no different for track and field sometimes it seems you seems even bigger at least you can measure it uh, the difference especially when you have a conference championship here or when we had a dual meet last week uh, you know they're always excited to compete here and I think we you know we put on the type of meet that we feel like is conducive to creating a great atmosphere and uh, that way you know when you set it up and you make it condensed and you feel uh, you know everyone's competing well and of course we always do the you know the PR week is what we call it and we have the PR bell go on and you see one friend over there another friend uh, you know popping off a mark here and there and then you think you can do it as well so it's very contagious uh, the competitive atmosphere I mean for Someone like Jordan Lattimore, here he is, he jumps 26 feet, first person to jump 26 feet indoors for us. You know, he does it at the home facility and it's, you know, he got overshadowed a lot with the performance set. Now, of course, he shows up nationally in terms of our rankings, in terms of being a 22nd in the nation. But, you know, it, it, you know, he's been doing a great job. Of course, he was second in the nation last year and, you know, same place where uh, uh, Matt Ludwig was. Of course, Matt Ludwig, of course, had a great week last week. You know, what an exciting week to go for a, a, a world mark. Now, you can see how competitive it is in the world because, you know, one day, another day later, someone goes a centimeter higher than a few days later. Just yesterday, someone went another centimeter. So they all keep a track of each other. And so he's not just competing against the best collegiates or the people around the MAC. He's competing against the very best in the world. Every time he gets up on the runway, he's aware of what's been done around the world. And then those people in the world are also aware of him. Now, last week also we had some good young performance uh, athletes come out, especially Victoria Abenow getting MAC Athlete of the Week. You know, she runs that 852 in the hurdles. You know, Dara Perry had just one of those rough meets, you know, she missed one of those hurdles. And, you know, the nature of the event, sometimes you just have one bad hurdle, of course, that takes you out of the, the event. And, of course, Victoria comes, comes through for us uh, when we were hoping we'd win that event. And, of course, now we end up with a, another great hurdle along with uh, uh, Dara Perry and then Patrick Kimball of course running very well in the um, in the hurdles as well getting Mac athlete of the week there in the hurdles and of course I uh, he was a um, you know he's starting to move down he's starting to improve each week and I think being at home again tomorrow especially having preliminary rounds is going to help him a lot um, most of the time you know, you're going to meet when only you get one shot down the uh, down the track. When you get two shots, you know, the first time you're a little rough, and the second time you can you can put in a blistering time. Uh, again, we had uh, Mackenzie Andrews. She looked strong last week, easily winning her event, and uh, she'll be running the same event uh, this weekend in the 800. And she wants to do some special things. I think she's you know one of their goals to see if she can break the uh, the facility record here as well. And then. Um, you know, I, I, again, we have some of our other athletes, like Lucy Bryan, of course, is always up on top and, you know, sits there at the national level. And uh, last year she broke the, the school record here. And uh, the same competitor that took second to her last year, who vaulted very well, is going to be here this year as well from West Virginia. So, you know, we're going to see a good repeat of what happened, hopefully, of what happened last year.